Well, the market is still quiet. It's got uh, a little bit of a green bias to it, but lots of stocks are sitting at fresh 52-week highs. Bajaj Finserv is at a fresh 52-week high today. Bharti Airtel is at a fresh 52-week high. You have something like, uh, you know, a Chola investment, which is at a fresh 52-week high as well. And, of course, Bajaj Auto has been gaining a lot of ground. So, these are some stocks that are looking pretty good. But Devang Mehta from Spark Private Wealth Management is joining in. Devang, thanks for joining in. This is a market where, you know, I think everyone is anticipating a correction, right? But it hasn't come just yet. But as and when the correction kicks in, what are the sectors or stocks that would attract you now? Sonia, uh, for having me on the show, it's always a pleasure to be on CNBC TV 18. Uh, yes, I think, uh, let me start by saying that you said everybody is just waiting for a correction. And so I, I keep on repeating this, that uh, more money has been lost in sometimes uh, anticipating a correction than a correction itself, right? So uh, most of the people who are just waiting on the sidelines uh, uh, just want to just come into uh, the markets. Uh, but I think, yes, uh, see, see the, the wall of worry that market has climbed over the last seven, eight months, uh, uh, be it global headwinds, be it uh, uh, the U.S. interest rates, uh, the behavior on the U.S. interest rate side, uh, geopolitical tensions, uh, uh, the unwinding of the yen carry trade. Uh, locally also, domestically also, we had two things. Uh, uh, one, the election results uh, and, and, the, and the budget. Uh, I think uh, most of this uh, came to the market and upset the market by a little bit. Uh, four to five percent correction, I think, virtually we are seeing since the last eight, nine months. Uh, but it's not uh, been, uh, been the, the next big correction which everybody has been anticipating. And I, I don't think it will happen eventually because uh, there is there are there are macro tailwinds, there are micro tailwinds, earnings have been generally good. And also the most important part that liquidity from the domestic investors has also been uh, extremely, extremely, uh, I, can, I can say, uh, uh, robust. So the sense one gets here is, yes, if at all, there is even a 3 4 5% correction on the markets and uh, in the individual businesses that you like, uh, uh, I think one should one should keep focus on, and I, I again repeat this, uh, capex-oriented stocks. A lot of capex-oriented, I don't mean the usual run of the mill, the LNT or the Siemens uh, or the ABBS. These this are some types of ideas that one can get into. But I think deeper dive into this, you will find a lot of engineering-related stocks. There are a lot of ERND-related stocks, a lot of companies which are into stamping and lamination, uh, energy, energy efficiency, automation. I think these are the themes uh, which would probably be proxy towards more even defense or railways or capital goods or infra. So these are the themes we have been playing since long. I think a part of uh, a capex oriented story uh, still goes on and you look at even the power finances, uh, even the, even people are upgrading those. So my sense is that uh, this side of the market where the next two, three years, there is a lot of uh, capex uh, going to happen from the government side and maybe private capex is just going uh, to be just around the corner. I think this, this sector seem interesting. Mm. I remember Hitachi Energy was one of the ideas that you had uh, told us last time. And in the ERD space, LTTS and Tata Alexi, and both of them have been very active of late on the upside. Devang, uh, you've told us that Air Solutions is an interesting pocket. Could you elaborate a little bit more by what you mean by Air Solutions and which are the players here? Yeah, I think it's it's in a very interesting space. And as I said, I'm not recommending anything. Uh, one has to do their due diligence. But uh, uh, these are some spaces which uh, which are extremely interesting. So, yeah. So, I'll just expand on that. Uh, uh, there is a sector called air solutions or air compressors. Uh, uh, the collective market cap of this sector is, is roughly around 45,000 crore. Uh, there are three listed entities over here. Two entities have sort of got uh, uh, delisted in the past, uh, Atlas, Copcoin, Alpha level. Uh, but the three entities that are listed right now are uh, uh, LG Equipment, Kirloskar Pneumatic, and uh, 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 Ingersoll Rand. Uh, now, if you if you just look at the blended ROEs of all the three businesses, uh, uh, ROEs are in excess of 20 to 23%. Uh, the, uh, the ROEs of Ingersoll Rand itself is in excess of 40%. Most of these companies' uh, uh, revenues are growing at 16, 17%, and EBITDA and PAT are growing in excess of 20%. The most important part is that the size of the opportunity or the pie is huge. Uh, the sector right now is, is, is valued at 45,000 crores of market cap, and we estimate this uh, uh, sector itself to be 4 lakh, 4 and a half lakh crore of market cap. So, where the sector itself in the next seven, eight years can go 8x, 10x. Uh, I think there are these businesses which are again sort of uh, MNC type of heritage. Uh, this will also do extremely, extremely well. So uh, we we try to find the size of the opportunity. Then we get into uh, probably the market shares of the company. And then we look at whether we are able to uh, generate stress adjusted returns with a good night's sleep. So this is one sector where probably uh, you can have multiple tailwinds. Mm. Okay. Any other stocks or sectors that stand out for you where one can look into, you know, maybe not now, but if a correction kicks in? 
I think yes, one uh, one uh, side of the market uh, which we which we still like uh, is is been uh, uh, consumption and that to organized retail. Now again, uh, with a disclaimer that uh, Trent has been one of our largest holdings, uh, uh, Trent and Titan both, uh, and both these companies are going through good tailwinds. Uh, uh, even a sector like uh, like hotel, which is also a proxy play. Uh, towards discretionary consumption or people traveling more and more or uh, or, or getting into the luxury side. I, I again uh, uh, tend to get repetitive over here when I say that uh, uh, the organized retail via trend, right? The, the model has been cracked very well, uh, right from Zodio to Westside to Zara and, and all the new ventures that they're getting into has cracked very well and expanding into different categories. Uh, these are businesses on a correction. Yes, I know that most of these uh, businesses have been on a tear. Uh, even hotels as a sector uh, where the average room rates I have sort of uh, started to increase 18,000 rupees is the average room rate for something like an EIH. Again, not recommending, but just stating the facts. Uh, the, the rooms are growing at a uh, at a supply of 4-5% and the demand is growing at 13-14%. Uh, uh, I think with religious, spiritual tourism as well as inbound and outbound tourism growing, uh, I think this is uh, uh, still to stay. So my sense is that, yes, discretionary consumption as a sector along with CapEx, which I discussed, uh, uh, these are two pockets of the market which will still keep on doing well on the back of earnings, on the back of uh, robust uh, revenue growth as well. Mm. Uh, have you looked at some of the smaller jewellery companies like Kalyan, Senko, etc.? Because they've been growing faster than Titan. And even the kind of stock return that they've given has been more than its uh, larger peer. So you would stick to Titan or are you hunting for some of these mid and small cap stocks in the same space? We are, we are hunting. In fact, across the market cap spectrum, we know that there are a lot of small cap and mid cap companies which are, are going to deliver uh, far better returns than the large cap PS. Yes, uh, we, we were looking for something like an ethos. Uh, as I said, we, we were not able to sort of uh, uh, get into it, but we, we are open to look at uh, anything that is uh, to do with discretionary consumption or luxury consumption or even on the capex side, uh, which is more on the mid cap, small cap side. Though we are market cap agnostic, but uh, such opportunities, uh, uh, when they, they present themselves, yes, you know that the, the alpha that you can create over there uh, is going to be uh, a big but yes we are on the lookout uh, rather than uh, giving you a recommendation at this point okay uh, because the stock is in focus right now uh, indigo i wanted your thoughts there i mean there's of course a two percent block deal that has happened today so it's in the news but otherwise you know it's a dominant market uh, player it has had a great run in the last one year or so this whole travel space has been booming uh, do you think it's too late to make an entry now or can someone still do it given that perhaps the runway is longer I think uh, we we ideally we have sort of uh, as I said we uh, sometimes take pride to miss a space so uh, we have not uh, uh, got into aviation but yes we uh, we have got our our, our great picks in uh, discretionary as well as non discretionary consumption but yes the fact is that in India uh, if I look at uh, if I compare it globally aviation has been a space where uh, money is difficult to be made but uh, India given the clear uh, oligopoly or duopoly or, or or virtually the market share that uh, Indigo right now has in, in excess of 60 65 percent I think there's a there's a good money to be made still here. Uh, probably, yes, uh, you will have to go through the cyclicality when the crude price rises or when the travel season is not as hot. Uh, but I think, yes, uh, there are ingredients in place for this also uh, that somebody invest for a 2-3 year horizon. Yes, trading bets, I wouldn't probably be the best to, but somebody having a 2-3 year horizon uh, still looks an interesting space. As I said, it's, it's a substitute for travel and uh, uh, tourism as well. So many ideas, right? It's just about getting in into them and, you know, riding the opportunity. Thank you very much, Devang, for joining in.